Today, we're just going to remind ourselves about the basics of fractions using fizzes. Okay, in front of you here, I've drawn a picture of one, two, three, four, five, six different colored fizzes. And at the top, we've got one beautiful whole fillet fizzer, a nice orange fizzer. Okay, if we focus on the green fizzer now, imagine I've taken that green fizzer and I've given it to three learners and tell them that they must share it fairly between them. Or well, what do they need to do? They need to cut it into one, two, three pieces, and then each of them will get one of those pieces. So this is the piece that you're going to get when three people share the fizz. And we give that thing a name of one third. We write that, the name, like this, one third. And in that name, one third, there is information for us. It tells us that we've cut that fizzer into three pieces and the person is getting just one of those three pieces. So one third is the name we give to this piece. Focus on the purple fizzer now. This is cut up in a way that it can be shared with six people, right? Six people can share it because I've cut it into one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. And the piece that you get will then be just one of those. All that piece, one sixth of a fizzer, and we write it like that. So this is the name that we give to the piece. In that name, there's clues about the, what the piece looks like. It tells us we've taken our fizzer and we've cut it into six pieces and we've just got one of those six pieces. Focus on the red fizzer now. Pieces are too small for me to write stuff in, so I'm just going to tell you about it. The idea here with the red fizzer is I've cut it up into 12 pieces and so I'm sharing this fizzer between 12 children. So the name of each of these little pieces is 1 12th and it's written like this. The 12 at the bottom tells us we've cut the fizzer up into 12 pieces and each person is just getting one of those pieces. All right, before we look at the blue one, you tell me what is the name of each of those pieces going to be? Right, we've cut it into four. So we're taking this fizzer and we're sharing it with four people are going to share it. We would call that one fourth. But for some reason in English, we've chosen to also give it a fancy name, which is one quarter. And we write that like that. So the name of each of these pieces is one quarter. And we have in that name a clue. It tells us we've taken the fizzer and we've cut it into four pieces. And each person is just going to get one of those four pieces. Yellow one, well, we've just cut it into two pieces. So in other words, two people are sharing this fizzer. Again, it should be one tooth, but actually in English, the special name, one half. But we write it just the same as one over two. And so the name of each of these pieces is a half. That two in the bottom tells us that we're sharing the fizzer with two people. We've cut it into two pieces and each person is just getting one of those two pieces. So if we look here at the dark green, that you should immediately recognize is one third of the fizzer. Because we've cut the fizzer into one, two, three pieces and we've just taken one of them. Now if we have a look at that, Again, we've cut the fizzer into three pieces, but in this case, we've taken two of them. And so we would write that as two thirds. In other words, we've got two 
of these thirds. And if I, we take three of those pieces, what we're taking are one, two, three of the pieces that we call thirds. In other words, we're taking three thirds. If you look at the picture, you can immediately see that if we've taken three thirds, we've taken one whole visor. So three thirds will be equal to one. Ideas. So let's start with the number two thirds. That's a fraction. Let's remember terminology. Two at the top of the fraction is called the numerator. Three at the bottom of the fraction is called the denominator. What does two thirds mean? Well, it means that you have taken something, some whole unit, divided it into three equal pieces and taken two of them. So in this rectangle, we can see that, right? We have divided the rectangle into three pieces and we've taken two of them and colored them in. Similarly, on our number line, we can take that unit from zero to one, divide it into three pieces and take two of them, and so here at A is where two-thirds sits on the number line, two pieces out of three. If we take this group of hearts, we can see two-thirds there by doing what we always do. We divide into one, two, three absolutely equal parts, and then we choose to take two of those equal parts, so that group of hearts here is two-thirds of the whole lot of hearts. Okay, check that you've got these basic ideas. In your homework book, you've got these pictures. And what I want you to do is shade in three-tenths, two-fifths, or nine-twentieths of those rectangles. Just pause the video and do it now. Okay, you should have had a picture something like this. For three-tenths, you need to cut this rectangle up into 10 equal pieces, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pieces of the same size, and then you take 1, 2, 3 of them. For the fifths, for two fifths, you need to cut the rectangle up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pieces, and then you take two of those pieces. And for 9 twentieths, well, the rectangle has already been cut up into these little pieces, and there are 20 of them, and then you need to color in nine of them, so that's four, eight, nine of them. So you'd have a picture something like that.